For more perspectives on the judgment yesterday, I'm joined now by uh, Diaspora Coordinator of the Bola Tinubu Campaign Group, Dr. Abiola Oshodi, who joins me live from Canada. Talk to us about how the APC in Canada is reacting to this judgment, Mr. Oshodi. Uh, thanks for having me in the studio once again. Uh, congratulations to Nigeria. Congratulations to all Nigerian Democrats all over the world, and congratulations to our great party, APC, and most importantly, congratulations to our president, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, on this uh, judicial victory, which uh, many of us have uh, anticipated it's going to go that way. What we didn't expect was uh, uh, that the five uh, judges of the presidential election tribunal was going to spend that amount of time, over 12 to 13 hours, to dissect and deliver judgment on all the petitions raised by the uh, three political parties. I think, uh, you know, their judgment has formed a fundamental milestone in our democratic journey going forward. Uh, Canada APC were quite excited as uh, the judgment was being um, read. Uh, we were all euphoric. Uh, despite the fact that we're expecting victory. And a lot of the sentiments that we had discussed were what the judges, um, you know, made a lot of references to. Say, for example, the petitioners, especially the Labour Party presidential candidates, did not state at any point in time that he won the election or how he won the election. All he and called his petition on were technical disqualification of the president, of our president, and uh, the vice presidential candidate at the time. So um, for whatever reason, his supporters were all over the social media, um, you know, trying to confuse other people that uh, they won. And when you ask them how, they can't you substantiate. Did. I hear you, Dr. Oshodi, but... Um, uh... Are you concerned, and the stakeholders outside the country, even though there was a unanimous decision by the five justices, from all indication, the petitioners appear to be headed to the Supreme Court? Well, we are not concerned. Um, in democratic journey, um, disputes are part of the process. So I think it's their democratic right to go up to the Supreme Court to argue the case. And it only deepens, uh, like I said, our democratic uh, journey going forward. So it's within their democratic right to pursue that option. But if I were them, I probably wouldn't, uh, because 2027 comes very fast. This is the time for them to close ranks. Because if you look at the results, the oppositions, uh, you know, their aggregate figures were much more than what our president used to uh, win. Mm. I think they had a combined voter strength of over 14 million compared to Ashiwa Jose, 8 point something million. So there's strength in opposition only if they can close ranks and help deepen our democracy. So going forward with petitions that are described as baseless and uh, lacking merit is probably not a good strategy. But again, it's within their democratic right to exercise that, um, that option. Dr. Bielo showed the diaspora coordinator of the Bola Tinobu campaign organization in Canada. Thank you for talking to us. Thanks so much for having me. Now let's talk to former Attorney General and Commissioner of Justice in Kwara State, uh, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Simon Jawando. Thank you for joining us on the news this hour. From what you saw yesterday, 12 hour, more than 12 hour judgment, um, a unanimous decision by the five justices. Would you say it's safe to say at this point that the credibility question that characterized the February presidential election has been finally resolved after that judgment.